So people in this country yearned for content they can trust. Christians do that every single day in this country. Do they blow people up every yes, single day? Yes, oh, Christians every day. People walk into post office. I mean, people walk into post offices. They walk into schools. That's what Columbine is. I mean, I could do this all day long. There's so, there are so many more examples of Christians, and I happen to be a Christian. That's back to this notion of your idealizing Christianity, in my mind, to my read. There's so many more examples, Ayan, of Christians who do that than you could ever give me examples of Muslims who have done that. And what, where are we now right now? We're living in this environment of fake news. He wrote yesterday that with your acceptance of President Trump, he said you've embraced what he calls a Faustian bargain. With open eyes, he said, a chance to enact legislation important to you as long as you occasionally ignore your conscience. I have kids, I have grandchildren. We are very proud of our commitment through CPB, the appropriation. People are either mimicking him, which Rubio is doing a little, by adopting some of the dark and satanic tones that, uh, that Cruz has. Uh, and so... What did uh, you... Let me just add. What did <laughs> you just say? <laughs> to funding fact-based journalism. Okay, let's assume that, um, that you make it to heaven. And let's assume that God says when you get there, um, St. Peter or whoever it is, says, um, you spent 20 years at the Clinton Foundation. We have a priority for editorial integrity. But what happens next? We end up reconsidering, you know, people being slaves again. We end up reconsidering the right for women to vote. We end up, I mean, my point is you can parse that thing 18 different ways. So if we're